welcome back guys in this video i'll be comparing the performance image quality and latency of lsfg 2.3 optiscalar frame generation version 3.1.2 and afmf2 frame generation techniques in red dead redemption 2 and in one my rog ally with windows 11 lsfg is a universal frame generator included with a paid application called lossless scaling that sells on steam store for around 7 us dollars Nitex OptiScaler mod is free. You can use it to enable FSR 3.1.2 upscaler and frame generation. Already shown you the process. We'll drop the video link in the description. AFMF2 is AMD's driver level implementation of frame generation. Can be enabled from internal and software. In order to use AFMF2 on ROG LF, you need to install AMD's latest GPU driver. Using OptiScaler mod and fake Mikau's fake NV API, I'll be enabling AMD's anti lag 2 in this game that will help in reducing the latency. Don't need to enable frame generation in order to use anti-lag 2 and it is compatible with all of these frame generation techniques. This game supports NVIDIA Reflex. The mod simply replaces Reflex with anti-lag 2. Just make sure your ally is running on AMD GPU driver Adrenaline version 24.7.1 or anything newer than that. My ally is running on AMD's latest preview GPU driver which is optimized for Dragon Ace the Veil Guard. I'll show you LSFG settings. Launch. Using LSFG version 2.3, X2 frame generation mode tries to double the FPS, resolution skill 100%, not using any of lossless scaling subscaling algorithms. Clip cursor setting enabled, sync mode default, max frame latency 1, draw FPS setting enabled, capture API DXGI. My ally is running on Windows 11 23H2. That's it. Settings. Hotkey for enabling LSFG control alt ns status administrator setting enabled. Minimize the application. I own the Rockstar launcher version of the game. For this game, I have set the UMA buffer size to 5 GB. My life is running on BIOS version 441 using a 25 watts manual profile. All three power values set at 25 watts. 900p resolution CPU boost disabled. Connected my Gullicate KK3 Max gamepad to Alava Bluetooth mode. Enter and settings for the game. FreeSync and VSync enabled, that's it. Using Adrenaline's overlay to show you the performance metrics, I'll just enable anti lag 2, latency monitor, press its hot key combo, Alt Shift and L. Keep pressing them to cycle through the different display options. There you go. In game settings, resolution 900p, display mode portal S, very important. Otherwise, LSFG won't work properly. Make sure Nvidia Reflex setting is enabled. Otherwise, anti lag 2. Won't work. Easing off. Triple buffering off. Texture quality set to high. Nisotropic filtering 16 times. Rest of the settings set to medium. DLSS enabled, of course. Using its quality preset. Sharpening level 30%. API DirectX 12. OptiScaler settings. Using XCSS subscaler 1.3.1. Frame generation disabled for the time being. Auto exposure setting check fix the lighting issue caused by XSS in this game during the night time. Let's check out the base performance. I'll be testing the game in Saint Denis. Very demanding area. Okay, here FPS is around 47. Yeah, it's working. Latency value around 50 milliseconds. Real world input delay. This is the game running without frame generation. FPS is staying close to 45. Hitting the GPU bottleneck here. Latency value 50 milliseconds. So first I'll enable OptiScaler frame generation. On hotfix setting enable value set to 2. Now hotfix does not work properly in this game. Minimap occasionally flickers. Not easy to observe this flickering. I'll showcase this. Back to the game. FPS increased to around 80. Latency value increased to around 58 milliseconds roughly and 8 millisecond increase in latency. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. This is amazing. Minimap is not flickering. Yeah, it flickered there for about half a second. This is the only problem that I observed with OptiScaler frame generation in this game. Check out the other HUD elements. See they are not flickering. Almost perfect. HUD fix. 
60 milliseconds of latency FPS value is close to 80 now Never the slight is there for about half a second can happen in Saint Denis General performance is quite good Not observing any graphical artifacts around John's character model No fuzzy textures, see No ghosting Okay, now I'll enable AFMF2 Disable OptiScaler frame generation, still using XCSS upscaler Open internal and settings on the game, on press R From here just enable AFMF2 Set the search mode to high This prevents frame generation from getting disabled during fast visual motion Performance mode quality, don't enable anti-lag from here We have already enabled anti-lag too Resume the game Getting around 84 FPS with AFMF2 Roughly the same performance using AFMF2 and OptiScaler frame generation This is very impressive Minimap is not flickering I beg your pardon, the head elements are not flickering as well See I am not observing any significant artifacts around John's character model AFMF2 is the way to go it is use OptiScaler mod to enable the latest version of FSR upscaler and also enable anti-lag 2 latency value increased to around it's 55 to 60 milliseconds again roughly the same latency using AFM2 and OptiScaler frame generation see real world input delay no problem at all you can definitely play the game this way Take out my gun Processor is not flickering Very impressed by FMF2 Now I'll enable LSFG Open the game's internal and settings from here Disable AFMF2 Disable VSync Apply a 60 FPS cap if the game space FPS exceeds 60. We'll be using custom afterburner only to show you the performance metrics. I've enabled LSFG. Base FPS dropped down to around 36. FPS with frame generation is around 70. LSFG's overlay is getting blocked by anti lag 2's overlay. Can observe the added amount of smoothness, unfortunately. John's head is flickering Smoothing effect feels nice Not bad at all, minimap is not flickering Hard elements are not flickering as well Latency value, it's around 65 milliseconds Yeah, 70 milliseconds there There was a hitch for about half a second It's 65 to 70 milliseconds of latency with LSFG. It's higher than that of AFMF2 and OptiScaler frame generation. Time to conclude the video. I would say use OptiScaler mod and fake NV API to enable anti lag 2 in this game. It can be used with any of these frame generation techniques, will help in reducing the latency. You can also use the OptiScaler mod to access the latest version of XCSS or FSR upscaler. On Ally, you'll get roughly the same latency using OptiScaler frame generation and AFMF2 around 55 to 60 milliseconds with LSFG. Latency will be around 65 to 70 milliseconds. It's not a big difference in terms of real world gameplay, especially when you're using a gamepad to play the game. OptiScaler frame generation will produce some occasional flickering of the minimap. Very difficult to observe this. With AFMF2, I did not observe any significant graphical artifacts. Hard elements did not flicker at all. Hard elements did not flicker when using LSFG, but John's head was flickering. LSFG had the highest performance overhead, with frame generation level FPS increased to around 70 with LSFG. With the other frame generation techniques, FPS increased to around 80. So that's it for the video guys, I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.